you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to go over what you should be doing in Madden right now. So, if you guys are new to the channel or you have never watched a video like this, the way I usually build these videos is around this kind of template where I go over where you should be at in Madden at this point how things should be looking, what you need to be on the lookout for, what you should be expecting in the week. It's kind of like a weekly update video going over how you should be prepping and going about the week. I find this to be very useful for you guys and apparent from the feedback I get from this, you guys seem to really like this. So that's why I tend to do this at least once a week. I do this and what to do with your coins. Two separate entities because to fully go into coins and go into the market is its own video and to then talk about just Madden in general. It could be, it's a separate video. So today's the Madden one. Now guys, if you didn't remember or whoever didn't see the video yesterday, I did do that 50k giveaway on a video yesterday. Now, the first video is very close to hitting the like goal, so when it hits that, I will communicate with you guys how I'll be doing that giveaway if we do. Now, in this video specifically, since you guys did smash that like goal, I'm going to give you guys another one for these today's set of videos. This applies to every video for the day. Now, I'm going to do it again because you guys smashed the like goal, so let's up the ante a little bit. I said 350 and you guys are about to hit it, so let's go with... 450 if you guys can hit 450 likes i will be doing a 50k giveaway on any of today's videos so all you have to do on this video specifically is go down below comment 50k and drop a big like on the video if we hit 450 likes and you guys comment down below 50k we'll be giving another way another 50k i won't be doing this on every video just these two videos to show some support back to you guys and also if you guys haven't already make sure to like like i said comment down below 50k and subscribe boys we're so close to 9k so let's get it going Hit that subscribe button. You guys have been smashing that. Also, turn on that noti bell. And if you could so kindly, go on over to Twitter. Poodle underscore YT. The link will be down below in the description. Go, go drop a follow over there. DM me. Say what's up. And whatever else you guys want to do over there on Twitter. Now, guys, getting into this video. So, first things first that I want to always remind you guys because this is big. Being a victim of someone who forgot to play their Mutt 10 solo challenges. I understand the pain of not getting your free stuff. So, besides Mutt 10, which is Friday, so that's unrelated to today specifically. Unless it is Monday morning and you guys have not played it, although I do not see the solo anywhere, which is I find really weird for me. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyways, the team of the week solo challenge. Today, I mean, oh, today's on Monday. That's why. Today's Tuesday, right? So, yeah, Tuesday. Since it's Tuesday, that means the team of the week solo challenges end today at whatever time the next ones come out. Now, I want to say 10:30, but I feel like with team of the weeks, maybe they don't go away at 10:30. Maybe they go away a little bit later. It is at at 1 p.m. Okay, so they go away at 1. So by the time you guys see this video, hopefully it's by that time, you guys can be in touch and know what I just said. So you guys are going to want to go over and play this Team of the Week solo challenge. Remember, you need to collect every single token every week. So at the end of the year, you get your free Team of the Year player. And like I said, that's a huge addition to your team. And it's typically auctionable, so you're going to get coins for that. Now, don't forget, because once you miss one, you're going to have to hope at the end of the year they give you a, um, like a redo or a try over. Like... Another try, you guys get what I'm saying. They give you the extra solo challenges for extra tokens. Because if they do not, you do screw yourself. So I recommend you go get that done. You only need a star, so it's very easy. You can plan easy and just get one of the bonus objectives done. It's definitely one of the easiest solo challenges that this game has to offer. So just getting that out there because I've been on top of my solos, getting my Team of the Weeks done since I did miss the month 10. I cannot miss Team of the Week also. Now, once you have that done, guys, you obviously know if you guys have been watching my channel at all this week, Mud Heroes is coming most likely this Friday. So, not much else to do with that besides what I have told you already, which was, in fact, the market and just staying on top of what to expect. If you guys have not seen that video yet, after this video, go over. It might be on the end screen. You might have to go down below, see it below, suggest it to you. But you guys get the point. On the channel, I did post a lot going over what to do for Mud Heroes. We obviously have a few days for that. So, what I'm doing prior to Mud Heroes coming out, I've just been enjoying some seasons, some relaxed gameplay, and grinding out some objectives. And I'll go over that in about a second. But for me, I feel like this is like limbo again. I don't really want to buy any cards right now. I kind of just want to wait until Mud Heroes comes out and sees what it, see what it has to offer, some new solos. But in the meantime, I've been playing some seasons, grinding out some wins, grinding out some objectives. I feel like that's the best thing to do from now until Friday, is just grind up some objectives, build up your coin stack. So for me, the first objective that I've been, mainly, I've been looking at prior to everything else is series two multiplayer wins. I'm trying to get this up there because the more series two multiplayer wins, now that I'm at 75 wins here, I get 120 per category that i complete which is huge because i don't know if i want melvin gordon or if i want to convert to coins or i want to go jump out and collectible i haven't entirely decided on the route i'm taking with all this so it is kind of big 
to really just be out here grinding out these trophies grinding out these wins so for me it's just relaxed playing seasons i'm just chilling playing my seasons with my squad that I, isn't my best squad but it's not my worst it's pretty good it's competable i'm having some fun with madden and don't have to worry about anything else and obviously we have weekend league rewards coming most likely today in the afternoon also so stay tuned for that i'll probably be posting those up tomorrow but with your weekend league rewards guys maybe you want to hold them if you're going to take the packs which i never recommend taking the packs i recommend taking the coins if you're going to hold your weekend league rewards maybe the best thing you could do is hold them until friday and see maybe if you can pull some mud hero players out of that that's up to you guys i'll probably just end up taking the coins because i do need i do want to keep building up my coin stack that can kind of pay for my saquon barkley that i think will be coming out now next another big point of emphasis i believe in the next few weeks besides mud heroes is going to be your mutt master completion rate i feel like most people are at least 80 percent on my master at this point it's kind of hard not to right at this if you've been playing madden not religiously but if you've just been playing casually I, i'm gonna say i play casually because with all my content creating and all the stuff i do for you guys i don't exactly just sit here playing all day although it might seem like that i play about as much as the casual guy because i spend most of my hours a day making videos recording editing answering comments twitter all that other stuff so i honestly don't have to play as much as you guys probably think so i feel like i kind of represent a more casual user not 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 an adult with the job and the life but i think i represent the casual young kid who plays a lot if you guys understand what i'm saying so 100 wins should be done already unless you don't have an 85 overall team that should be done touchdowns should be done 25 daily objective list should be done 35,000 passing yards should be done 350 passing touchdowns 12,000 rushing yards some of the harder ones are like the passing touchdown 700 25,000 rushing yards 350 rushing touchdowns intercept 350 passes now i feel like at this point it should be 80 percent done i'm actually at 97 percent done so in my opinion you guys should be not too far behind me if you guys have been playing since day one so for me personally in my personal opinion i think it's time we start getting this list done because you guys most likely have all of his 90 to 95 pieces already but you can't put those in until you get his 85 through 90 like you need to have all those 80 through 90 pieces so literally i have every piece to get him to 95 all i have to do is just get two more i have to get eight more rushing touchdowns and i believe like 40 more fumbles wherever that is yeah 42 more fumbles and i need eight more rushing touchdowns and then once i get that he goes from 88 to 90 to 95 all the way up so i'm gonna go from having a pretty good ken houston to having the best strong safety in the game 95 overall mutt master monster and then i get to also get coins back in ken houston so remember that getting this list done as soon as possible will ensure that you could sell your current strong safety while tripling the talent of your de your defense it's just like a, it's like a win-win i burst that pat tillman he's a ball hawk somehow he picks me up all the time he plays in the zone pretty well he forces fumbles he's always in the box he's always in, he's always making plays he looks amazing and he's gonna improve your overall he's gonna really lock, he's just gonna lock down a very important position at the strong safety for at least maybe the rest of the year for some people if he upgrades progressively the way he should he will fill that slot for most of the year you'll have no problem with him there and quite honestly i really don't have i, I want to have him there so I think it's time you guys start getting this done now. My personal recommendations to speed this up. So for the forced fumbles, I was actually about 220 before. I played like a journey solo or like a legend solo and I scored 100 points and I forced like 17 fumbles. From what I heard on Twitter is that after like 20 fumbles or whatever in one game, they stopped counting. So I did stop after a while. So I pretty much played the legend solo to get my rushing touchdowns and my fumbles. So I'd score an 80 yard rushing touchdown. I'd come back out, I'd hit stick on easy, force a fumble, pick it up, score a rushing touchdown. It took like 40 minutes, but eventually I got like I don't know around 17 16 whatever i said and then i ended up getting like maybe 16 rushing touchdowns which is why my rushing touchdowns are very close now so you can boost a little bit for those stats obviously pass is intercepted you'd have to go on it you'd have to go on youtube and look up like glitch defenses where it forces the, the defense to throw picks every year they had something like that similar they had something similar to that last year but guys like i said once you have all that done to show you guys what you're working for here on top of all that is if you come over to this pat tillman look, look look what he becomes he becomes a monster with cool card art once you get him right here you can put all these things in he will have 91 speed 95 tackle 96 awareness 87 excel 95 pursuit 96 play rec 88 zone 93 hit power he gets the zone threshold with chems he has the hit power threshold he can catch anyone on the field with that 96 play rec and his 91 speed this card is an absolute monster guys there's nothing else to say like this is what you want to work for right now that and i, I think trophies trophies season wins finishing pat tillman and just 
getting your team ready for Mud Heroes is kind of what you want to be on the lookout and being be, be doing this week. Because like I said, we're, we're between promos, right? We haven't gotten a big promo. We're about to get the first big promo. And then October's coming. And then it starts going downhill. For, well, uphill, I should say. And so everything starts tumbling down like a snowball effect. We get Mud Heroes. And then before we know it's the October promo. Then it's the Thanksgiving promo. Then it's Christmas. Then it's New Year's. And things just keep coming out, coming out, coming out. And there's never really time to like just grind a little bit. You know, you're going to be so focused on all the new promo cards everything else. So get your pet Tillman done now. Get everything out of the way now while you're probably bored at this point. And then you can start worrying about all the new promos after. And build your coin stack. Because the worst thing you could do is go into Mud Heroes in the October promo with no coins. Which is why I have my coins ready to, ready to go. And hopefully I can build a little bit more. Because I have a few more players to sell, which I've been kind of waiting on, guys. But that is about it for the video. So like I said, you guys already got the checklist. I went over that. Hopefully that helps. Don't forget to go down below. Comment down below 50k. Let's get this video to 450 likes. If we do, I will give you guys another 50k giveaway today. I also have one going from yesterday that you guys are probably going to hit. So that will probably be a grand total of 100k. All you got to do is like the video. Comment down below 50k. And if you could so kindly also on the side, unrelated, go over to Twitter. Drop a follow at Poodle underscore YT. Link will be in the description. Hit that subscribe button, boys. And also... Turn on that notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, I got two more videos coming for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.